What's up, people? Welcome on GC with Okwe okay, Miolubemi. Yeah, GC is my Nikki for the show. Oh, yeah. Sonu inakwana ekabosi orietoni. A lot has happened over the week from a supposed human being sending his father's land to buy a wig to um, police officers shooting sporadically during the Lagos rally and then covering it up. All this will be discussed after the break. Stay glued. Guys, I am so happy. Do you know why? I won't tell me my enemy are actually crying. I got a bone straight in. Yes, darling. <laughs> Some people say, they, they, they know why? Do you know why I'm happy? Last time I went to a restaurant, once a restaurant like that, I was drinking tea. I was wearing my normal tango with one. You know, one of my tango with one. She gets, and this is like, oh, dear, yeah, Jesus, I can't even buy bone straight. And I went home, I was sad. But then I determined that this bone straight are right. This three, 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 five, three million bone straight hair. I go buy a pollen and I bought it. I purchased the bone straight hair. I saved my money, sell the land, my daddy have, and I, bu I bought it. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, oh. Now, man, I want millions. <laughs> talk about my talk about my talk about how can somebody sell his father's land all for bone straight hair? Eh? Three million naira bone straight hair. Eh? <laughs> you see, say life don't spoil. Money where I, I go don't use do business. So my official business double leads and get interest on top. <laughs> Only James Brown can do this. But looking at this video, it ain't worth it. Oh, if oh, Joe, not the wig isn't worth three million naira. Like he has burnt the money. What if what if you oh, Joe, no? Let's say it in Yoruba. What if Joe oh no? <laughs> Oh, what do you think? Because really, he ain't worth the price. The war continues between Yomi Fabiyi and Yabo Ujo. Now, Tampan has been dragged into it, like, in the cell. <laughs> More like L in a cage. If you're familiar with wrestling, I'm sure you can relate to L in a cage. Yeah. That's how Yomi Fabi went to release a movie titled Okweyabo, which coincidentally narrates the same saga that went on with Babai Jesha and Princess Issue with the foster, the foster child. I'm like, what gods does he have? He even included Yabo Ojo's rape story into the movie. Like, it was just so insane. Now, netizens, netizens went all crazy. Celebrities went wild with fury. Like, why would Yomi Fabi do this? Make something so serious. Make a satire of something that serious. Tampan actually summoned Yomi Fabi over this movie. YouTube had to bring the 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 video down. And now Yomi Fabi is all in the defense, trying to defend himself. Hear him out. Uh, this is um, one minute past eleven in the city of Lagos. Um, like Okono, if you cannot see the movie Okoyabo, it's because we choose that peace should reign, so we kept it on private. But in the interim, you can see my other latest movie showing on Yoruba Plus TV, Owori Elewo, Prisoner's Diary. And um, and you do not or Roma Shelley, that was Salem Buyori social media. Me, Mobushi Manshi, a that is the end of career. I want to do it, I'm a Salem but God sees my conscience and no part of my movie or but undermines the girl or any girl child or any so don't let them play anything into your head. Believe me and trust me that I will never do that. But hello will film or my why we sort that one. I love you all. Now the question is, was it right to do that? Like, was it right to, to, to make a ridicule of what really happened? Make a satire of something that serious? You can drop your comments in the comment section down below. Your opinion in the comment section down below. <music> it 
it's a vibe oh yes i'm sure yeah because i'm feeling the vibe now check out this video hmm. the agony we face on nigerian roads hmm? <laughs> who is to blame is it the government or the the contractors really see as this guy they use and remove as father sive naeba <laughs> Edo contractors bad. Millions of naira located for roads and you know what and they end up using inferior materials. Now take for example the Lagos Ibadan Expressway with the billions of naira located, the road is still looking all road, oh. see my hand. Now the road where they do be this. See the road. Now me see. Now my dear hand be this. See him. You they see him. If not to work out for this thing now. The very day you go remove us, you they see and my hand that said they open us. So now our community be this, which can rubbish be this one. I know say they go say the one where our people do, where our people do see the it they not do. But that rubbish where they, they always talk, say our bread is better than all I kill Nigeria college today. So there is no major improvements on the road. Now so accidents and traffic, you know, with tankers falling, four lady tankers falling, hundreds of lives lost because you know the road just you know trying to cause pain inflict pain on motorists and all of that just so so preposterous but then again i like the man in the video was direct with the way he called out call them out like he totally me the way he called them out and though people know they carry last you can't rob them in broad daylight lie lie <laughs> See these pictures so because somebody noticed the a glitch in the system notice that you know they use the inferior material and then touch the asphalt like like eba <laughs> that is when they know that you know they would actually come check it see the entourage of people that followed the governor of edo <laughs> but anyways he handled it you know he handled the matter very well so and we guys give him it was quite bricks in handling the matter we must, we must give him uh, some accolades, but we are still trying to know if it's the government who is to blame or the contractors. But we know it, it, it's the both of them now. Because <laughs> our government corrupt, corrupt, and then you corrupted the people. Everybody wants to see it from National Kick. American singer, actor Cage went to his Instagram to share his traffic experience in Lagos State. <laughs> the guy don't know anything. Eh? Now God's hand we did. Everyone for himself. Like only Jesus the saver because there's no traffic light. Police, Lasma, useless. <laughs> they are so useless. Like I'm looking at the video, I'm like, like Jesus and we deal. Guy, that's what we go through. This is what we go through. It's crazy how here, man. It's crazy. Now you can see what we go through in Nigeria. This is this, this is what we go through. <laughs> this is Nigeria for you, Nigeria. You know, even lucky, see, you know, even a PC, they know, drag your phone or, you know, kidnap. <laughs> we also on the airlines. American singer Barack Cage has been kidnapped in Nigeria when he came for a musical concert. <laughs> this is Nigeria. <laughs> Insecurity everywhere. Even I thought DC's trap was bad. I thought DC's trap was bad. Traffic in Nigeria. Crazy. DC. No traffic lights, no traffic laws. Even police officers save gun. They know they don't save. Look at this video of a police officer's phone being snatched in broad daylight, and he could do nothing about it. Check it out, me paro now. <laughs> Now, 
Nigerian police. Hmm, hmm. You should have seen them during the Lagos rally on Saturday. Hey, I was there when they were shooting sporadically. Thank God I was not hit by stray bullets. But unfortunately, that girl was hit. And what did they do? They covered it up. Just like what they did during the NSAS. But I didn't bring it to her to be Sunday Igbo's people that, you know, killed somebody ac accidentally. You know, because stray bullets is accidental shooting. Huh? If it were to be Sunday Igbo's people, Castle Agodon boss. Hey, that have been war because, ha. But then again, Wale Shoenka has pleaded, you know, with the federal government to please forgive Sunday Igbo. Stop treating him like a criminal. You know, apologize to him. After all, you know, keep pressing now. He's, he called for a restructuring. He didn't actually kill or murder anybody. He's voicing out, you know, he's standing in for the people. So why tag him to be a terrorist or wanted? Because it was all over everywhere. It was wanted. Some like, boy is wanted. But then again, apologize. But that's that's what for is saying. I don't know if some like, boy is doing the right way or the wrong way. It's not in my mouth that they will hear that. Obaku, I've been Koko Shioba. Have you followed us yet? Like this video yet? Mm -hmm -hmm. Do that before the day is over. We're about to draw the curtains. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to turn on your notification button so as to get notified once a new video is dropped. Yeah, for more updates, you can follow us on our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. Yes, nothing do us. And if you feel like following me, I am cute underscore Adasa on Instagram. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing you next week on the next episode of Cheese Corner. Bye.